This is Live Well Talk on a day in the life of a cardiac sonographer. I'm Dr. Dustin Arnold, Chief Medical Officer at Unity Point Health St. Luke's Hospital. Today's episode is another installment in a series of podcasts where we sit down with team members in various roles at Unity Point Health Cedar Rapids and get to know them on what they do each day and how they contribute to the team and contribute to patient care. Joining me today on this episode is Nigel Stifter, a cardiac sonographer with St. Luke's Hospital to discuss the role of cardiac sonographer and what they do on a daily basis. Nigel, welcome. Thank you. How long you, we were talking that you've been here? What S- year? 16, almost 17 years. Yeah, you and I came at the same time. Yes. Yes, that's I, um, We've seen a lot of change, haven't we? We A lot we of have. change. Yes, we have. But start with, tell us what a cardiac sonographer is. So a cardiac sonographer takes, uh, uses ultrasound to look at the, uh, the heart to see how the heart's working, looks at valves, and checks the overall heart function. And that, that is something that, what, what typical patients would have that sort of test done on them? Um, you know, it, it can be any patient. We can see a patient um, that's born that day or a patient that un, uh, unlikely could die that day. Okay. Wow. Um, what what kind of education got you to this position? What did you... Uh... Um, it's actually only a two-year degree. And then you do, uh, for my school, it was a seven-month internship. Okay. And you do that internship at a hospital with a... It is a hospital or a clinic-type internship, yes. And it's uh, there's a shortage of cardiac sonographers. There's a big shortage, yes. Yeah. yeah, you've been the mainstay here for a long time, but I mean, it's... Um... We probably have about a third as many as we could have. Very much so. Yeah. We need a lot of cardiac sonographers. Well, just walk me through the typical day. Um, we come in during the day, um, and we uh, look up our, our studies, and then we go out and uh, do our studies, come back, put in our report, and uh, go out and do more studies. Um, we'll do TEs where we uh, look at the heart on the inside by uh, p- having a patient swallow a, our uh transducer or sometimes we'll look at uh, or fix pr- uh, patients um, valves by uh, with a mitral valve clip mitral clip or a TAVR which is we've talked about those with Dr. Kettlecamp which is uh, uh, trans aortic valve replacement so it's you don't have to have open heart surgery very true um, it, ultrasound continues to grow point of care ultrasounds and uh, a lot more than it was 10 15 years ago um, what 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 have you seen the biggest change in the last 15 years I'd say the image quality is a big change um, as well as the color quality really yes well you, you know we uh, it is the practice of medicine you have to keep up on your skills what sort of ongoing education does a cardiac sonographer do so we uh, we ha- we have to get 30 CMEs every three years um, we uh, read articles um, through the uh, American Society of echocardiography or go to uh, different uh, um, meetings and stuff like that to keep up on our uh, growing organization well I can uh definitely attest to the the quality of the study is the skill of the sonographer as well as the machines yes yeah i mean but you and your team you do a great job i you know i read echoes before i came here to cedar rapids and would often read my own or go up and at least look at them and i i just phenomenal quality and that's important because uh uh putting a patient through a study that's not a benefit you know that's just it's not. What, what? Why did you choose this? What got you interested in it? Um, I actually had heart surgery at the age of four, and oh, wow. then my mother also did ultrasound. She just didn't do hearts. Oh, so she did regular ultrasound. Correct. Too. Well, and so you had the heart surgery, so that drew, made you kind of think about cardiac sonographer. That is correct. I was born with actually an ASD or an atrial septal defect. Oh wow! I didn't know that about you. That's very interesting. You know, everybody has. Uh, uh, something they like most about their job. Uh, I, I said the other day on a, talking to someone, they were asking me, Mom, kind of, I said, you know, the thing I love the most about my job is it's no effort to get along and to like the people I work with. I walk in the building every day and I'm like, this is awesome. What, what do you like about your job? What's the thing you love the most about it? I love the people I work with as well as the cardiologists. I have to give a big shout out to the cardiologists I work with. I mean, 
they are great at teaching us about the uh, all the tough, different things that uh, change in our work environment. Well, and you play you know a key role. Um, we should let it be known. I mean, you participate in emergent situations too when they need it. Uh, an ultrasound completed at the bedside. Uh, we've been in many of those cases together. Absolutely. For uh, perhaps a cardiac sonographer that's uh, listening to this podcast uh, or someone considering becoming a cardiac sonographer, tell why St. Luke's. Um, it is a great place to work. Like I said, I've been here 17 years. Um, they have great benefits. And like I said, the cardiologists are great to work with. And they're great at teaching us everything we need to know. And, you know, it's, I wouldn't have left if, I would have left had I not been such a great organization. Yeah. I, that's, you know, I've said that I just like the people I work with, you know, just period. 100% agree. Yeah. It's effortless. I mean, I show up every day and I don't have to put any effort into it to, uh, to just enjoy the people I'm around. And, and everybody's smiling. It, for the most part. Yes. Nigel, thank you for joining me and sharing about a day in the life of a cardiac sonographer. Once again, this was Nigel Sifter, cardiac sonographer with St. Luke's Hospital. If you're interested in a career in cardiac sonography or any other role at St. Luke's, visit unipoint.org backslash careers. Thank you for listening to Live Well Talk On. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to spread the word, please give us a five-star review and tell your family, friends, neighbors, strangers about our podcast. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, or wherever you get your podcast. Until next time, be well.